I don't see many new members here, except for maybe uh, Brinda and Jyotsna. Others have all witnessed at least one moment of truth. Am I right? Yes. Show me a thumbs up. Okay, okay. So let me still ask you, Sakshi has already said the context. When you heard the word moment of truth, the phrase moments of truth, what came to your mind? Anyone? Like when someone hears Toastmasters, Aleem, and they think of chai and biscuit. So like that, when you heard the word moments of truth, what was the first thing that came to your mind? Telling each other the truth without sugar coating like we Toastmasters do during evaluations? Is it that? Memories related to Toastmasters meetings. Okay, in what way? About the speeches, about the evaluations, and the flow of the meetings. Like, Achha, that's what you thought. Okay, we will uh, discuss about the speeches, the evaluations, and the flow of the meeting, and what we can do about it. Yes. Okay, good enough. That's also one part of it. That's also one part of it where we discuss whether our meetings are interesting, whether the themes are interesting, do those meetings keep us engaged and all. But overall, it is a self-evaluation. You know, When we give a speech, we then ask the evaluators for evaluations and we also self-evaluate, self-introspect what we could have done better, right? So that is on an individual level. But today what we are going to do, the moments of truth actually is the self-evaluation of the club. The, and who is the club? We are all the club, like right? all the members together, the XCOM together. We are the club. We are the ones who have to evaluate ourselves reflect on what went well, what went wrong, and how we can improve and make our club better and better and better. If you think the, you know, you've reached this level, is that enough? Is that enough? No. You remember Hardik made us all stretch yesterday. Those who were not there and those who were present or offline and online knew that he asked us to stretch ourselves. And when others help us around, we are able to stretch more than we could stretch ourselves, right? So first time we only stretch this mills, the second we stretch out and then we start needing help, don't we? So the club needs your help, your feedback, your evaluation points to do better and better and better and stretch itself to greater heights. So this is what Moments of Truth is all about, self-evaluation, self-reflection. And Toastmasters, how many years since Toastmasters was incorporated? Anyone here? Very simple answer. Hundreds. 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 You know, created a tool called Moments of Truth. And this is a facilitated session, okay? It's not just you give your... Uh, Pallavi will be circulating a form soon. You just fill it and it's done. No, it's not that. Once you've submitted your form, we will have a facilitated session in the club. There will be a facilitator who will help, you know, discuss all, each and every point. And those who have given fewer points, less three or less than three, will be called upon to give their feedback as to how we can improve on that. You know, identify improvements and solutions, not just give the list of problems. So this session will be happening somewhere in our next week. Uh, our uh, VP Ed will let you know. But today's session is to orient you all members with the different criteria on which we will be assessing the club, okay? 
each point will be discussed now and i'll tell you what each each point means because it's not clear cut there are some things which need to be clarified so that you are better able to answer that google form that uh, pallavi will be floating soon so the moments of truth includes six themes do master could we could you please share the moments of truth handout yeah so the moments of truth includes six themes okay it will be on six themes and each theme will have six best practices and we will be assessing our club based on these six uh, the first one please not this one give me the a minute right yeah yeah sure yeah so we will be assessing the club based on these six themes and what good what are the best practices that we are doing and what are the best practices that we still need to incorporate so uh, i'd like to ask you it's now the first time you came to the club what was your first impression uh it was overall very good experience ma'am for me uh impression as such it was really very nice i heard many speakers talking very fluently the experienced ones and uh, i thought the immediate thought that yes i would be on that stage one day talking such in a flawless manner uh and getting that uh experience good experience okay brinda your experience first impression i i would see ma'am first i attended the meeting as a in 20 200 meeting only in that celebration i attended okay. i found the surrounding very enjoyable and happy and the next time i came for the meeting first meeting i came as a, a sergeant at arms uh, okay so um. I, so everything and i got inspired i wanted to do that i also want to stand in that position okay good mm -hmm. thank you thank you for your feedback and ask the you raise your hand yes ma'am uh, my screen uh, my screen is visible yes your screen is visible could you just scroll to the next one the moments of truth you know uh, there is a successful club series that we have in toast masters there is a successful speaker series a successful club series okay so moments of truth is a part of the successful club series which toast masters has developed so for a successful club we need to do this and it is mandatory for do that we do it twice a year okay so this we've already done it in the first term before december i think we had it uh, in july or august first week i believe and now we are having it in the second term so these are uh, stop 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 these are the first impressions okay the first impression is the first theme that we need to discuss and assess our club on so these are the standards that those masters have set guests greeted warmly and introduced to officers and members do we do that okay do we do that you will have to evaluate on a scale of 1 to 5 okay so one is uh, one is when we never meet the standard two is we rarely meet the standard three is we sometimes meet the standard four is we usually meet the standard and five is the highest that you can give and that is we always meet the standard okay so if you think we are very good at it you have you give a five if you think we there was some place where you felt you know a little bit unwelcome or you know anything was missing or something we could improve on there still scope if you feel you can give a four and we if you feel sometimes it's done sometimes it's not then it's a three okay you do it according to your understanding your impression of the club 
whenever you come into the meeting how you feel that is the first impression okay so are the guests treated warmly introduced to officers and members uh, do we have a guest book the guest book is the one that you know we usually have a register where members sign in for attendance right and guest books uh, actually during the covid we actually had uh, uh, developed the whatsapp guest book okay so all the guests who come to the meeting we add them to a whatsapp group and keep sharing the posters and everything i think the vpm is the one who vp membership is the one who maintains those the, the guest group and she keeps sending messages about the meetings that are happening and invites them to attend the meeting and that's how we get guests to attend the meeting okay apart from you all inviting your own friends and uh, you know neighbors this is how we maintain a guest book and name tags provided uh, are we do, um, doing it pallavi rainer anyone i guess so are the na no, guest book yes and name tags ah uh, name tags actually we have not done yet Okay. Name tags we are not giving, ma'am. Ah, we are not giving. Okay, but guest record we have. actually personally, what I feel is giving name tags to guests is a waste. Yeah, that's my personal opinion. <laughs> It's not, you know, we already know they are guests. I feel where it is required is when the club is huge, and yeah. one person, one member does not know the other. That's when name tags for guests are required. Here we are so familiar with everyone that we don't need a name card to identify a guest. So uh, that's my opinion. It's up to you how you take it. Whether it should be given, not given, we should, uh, according to your rating in the form, we'll discuss it during the MOT session. Professionally arranged meeting room. The setup that we have is it professionally arranged? What in terms, in your terms, is professional? that is left to you okay so everyone might have a different perspection perception so you give it according to what you perceive is a professional setup a proper hybrid setup or are the people uh, sitting professionally do we address each other professionally uh, you know do we conduct the meetings professionally everything comes under professionalism and we take some leeway during celebrations so i think that is necessary for bonding okay convenient meeting location whether the meeting location is convenient to you or not you can uh, rate on that basis guests invited to address the club do we ask guests to address give their feedback to give their how they how their experience was uh, have you seen us the excom specially doing that so you need to rate the excom rate the club on that basis and guests invited to join i think the guests should all those new joinees and the guests who come in with vouch for this that we do invite guests we and the vpm literally goes and you know keeps pestering them till they come to the meeting and then join the to master because we know we are doing doing it for their good okay the next uh, one please membership orientation asa could you please scroll it up a bit <clears throat> so this is membership orientation so you were a guest now you are a member so as soon as you are a member how did it go how did it begin how was there a formal instruct induction induction is the oath taking that you did okay as a member if it hasn't happened it will happen soon it happens once the mentors are assigned once the payment is made log in to the toastmasters international and sometimes we do it even before that just for the sake of convenience because all the new members are present we may do it so that's how it is sometimes due to time constraints it gets a bit delayed not too delayed never in a club i've never seen that 
So formal induction happens, presentation of member pin and manuals. See, manuals now is uh, uh, is uh, defunct. We don't use manuals because we are all opting for digital material. Toastmasters is almost done away with the manuals. And this seems to be a very old handout that we are using right now as a presentation. So membership pins, uh, you know, this all comes because of the budget, okay? The more the budget we have, we have membership pins, membership badges, and everything. But does it affect the quality of the meeting? That's up to you to decide. Assignment of the mentor. So actually, even before the induction, the mentor is assigned, and the mentor is also asked to take oath and say that I will give my best to my mentee. So even before the induction, the mentor is assigned. Have Were you assigned mentees? Were your friends who joined the assigned mentees as soon as mentors as soon as they joined? That's what you have to read the club on. Education program and recognition system discussed. So all this happens during orientation. You are oriented uh, about the pathways. The pathways is the curriculum of Toastmasters. You have to choose the pathway and then follow or, and do all the path, projects and speeches in that pathway. Okay. So were you oriented? Was there an orientation session educating you on all these education programs and the recognition system? So the recognition system is uh, for the club is the um, Toastmaster of the day, a month, the flag bearer of the month. So we have other recognition systems as well. And new members, you know, it's to give them all the information at once is just like, you know, pouring, uh, oh, you know, just like uh, sprinkling, uh, just drizzling on a hot day. You know, it will not reach the road you know, it will fall on the earth and it will just evaporate. So that's why our VP Ed and any VP Ed for that uh, uh, will always try to feed information a bit by bit. So in case anyone has any doubts, they can always approach even before the information is given to them. Okay, so how approachable the VP Ed is and how she motivates you to continue, all this will come under this. You know, complete, um, please do, um, you know, she will usually uh, go to the mentor and the mentee as well, the new member, to choose the pathway as quickly as possible so that she can orient you on the other things. So learning needs assessed. Uh, so the learning needs assessed is everyone comes with a certain goals into Toastmasters, right? So these goals, some might have uh, speaking goals, you know, lacking confidence. If you, st you know, they're very good at language, they can express very freely with friends and family. But when it comes to strangers and bigger groups, they are not confident enough to converse with them or stand and give a little impromptu speech. Okay, so maybe that is one of the goals that come with or maybe communication skills, communicate better, writing better, reading better, uh, speaking better, uh, and, you know, communicate to teams, building teams. You know, there might be lots of goals that you come with. Everyone comes, the first goal that everyone comes into Toastmasters uh, for is to improve their confidence and speaking skills. Rest all follows. Once you develop one, you go on to the next and the next and next. So you, your learning needs, like first you consider confidence. Once you've gained that the speaking, confidence is just standing there on the stage facing everyone and speaking just a line or two. And then comes giving speeches, doing projects, taking up leadership roles, going beyond the district. So are the learning needs assessed, not just for the new members, but also the members, senior members, so that they might not lose interest in the club. They stay in the club and give 
what they have already learned to new members. So is that done on a regular basis that you need to read? So discuss hey, any doubts till now. I am just going on and on and on. Just raise your hand if any of you has a doubt. Would you do that for me? Any doubts till now? None? Was all everything clear? Show me your thumbs up. Are you all in the meeting? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And please, you may raise your hand or just unmute and speak up if there is even a little iota of doubt. Okay. Okay. So, discussed accommodations for members with disabilities. I don't think it is relevant here in our club. So, speaking roles assigned. So, there is always a, you know, literal Mara Mari for roles. But uh, has it ever happened that you need it desperately and you've not got it? I think that's very rare. <laughs> Our VP had almost always tries to accommodate just like she did it for me this because I had to complete my level by April 30th and I'm not available next week. So thank you, Pallavi, for that. Okay, so members involved in all aspects of the club activities. So here, what are all the aspects? Just the meeting, just the meeting roles, or beyond the meeting roles? Are they involved in the social activities? Are they involved in the exform activities? Are they asked to help while setting the meet, uh, setting up the hybrid set? Are, are they asked to you know, bring in guests and sponsor them and talk to them uh, to make them, convert them into members. So are the members involved in all the club activities, not just the education? And even you are asked uh, to give educational sessions. So whatever you've learned, you educate others about what, you know, about the knowledge that you have. So are you all involved in all aspects of the club activities, whatever the club does? Are you left out of it or are you asked to become involved in it? Or when you want to get involved, did someone stop you from doing it? You know, these are all the aspects that you will need to weigh the club on. Any doubt here? Shall we continue? The next one, please ask them. So, Master, please help me if someone has raised a hand because I can see just a few windows here. Okay. Program planning and meeting organization. So, we conduct a meeting every week, right? So, to how, uh, how organized are we? How professional are we? How do we conduct our meetings? How do we plan our meetings, execute our meetings, and complete our meetings? You know, end our meetings. That's what we'll discuss in this theme. When club meetings are carefully planned with well-prepared speakers, useful evaluations, members are able to meet the education goals. So why is this program planning and meeting organization important? Why should it be assessed? Is because it's only then the members are able to meet their educational goals. So program and agenda publicized in advance. So even before the project, uh, program uh, advance. Uh, sorry, agenda. We have the meeting slate which fills up, and then once it's filled up, the agenda is prepared. When is the agenda shared? It is shared. Is it shared in advance during the meeting or after the meeting? So you should rate the club on that basis. Do we do it in advance? Yes, then give it a five. So members know program responsibilities and are prepared to carry out all assignments. So during the meeting, we have a set number of rules, okay? And 
because we have more members we brought in new roles as well like the listener role right and i think uh, one once or twice we have the joke master role also or did we call it from that's another name i suppose so we bring in new concepts we bring in uh, what to say new roles to accommodate members so that they can take up role and feel part of the meeting but believe me just attending the meeting without even taking a role it's a greater learning it's a greater learning because you keenly observing everyone okay so any time you don't get a meeting role or you just miss the slate you wanted a role and someone else has picked it up don't feel sad don't feel sad i would say that was destined because you were destined to sit there and observe the role players observe what they did right what they did wrong and what you can pick from there and develop on your own you know sometimes an our counter does you know something very well acha our counter mein ye bhi kar sakte hain then you start getting ideas okay so that you get when you are idle enough actually to sit in the meeting doing nothing just listening watching and observing so there was there was i uh, yes members do all the responsibility so it's not always necessary that you need to take up a responsibility sitting in the audience and observing and being a silent observer is also one of the responsibilities so do members enjoy that also so and we have role mentors assigned right to for those who are new and those who want to to do something new they can get in touch with the role mentors learn about the roles and responsibilities and do their best during the meeting so all projects are manual projects manual projects here means you don't uh, i have a speech on tuesday i am not actually prepared so can i just read the speech record it on video and send it to the meeting can i do that no no, no. i have to be physically or virtually present like i am doing right now i am live whether it's physical or virtual i am doing my project live that is what manual projects mean okay you can't video record you have to be physically present there are some projects which need you to do uh do the projects away from the meetings away from your clubs okay like i remember uh, uh who was that uh, jyoti doing it uh, in vsk she did a high performance leadership project in uh, vivekanand sanskar kendra and then she presented her speech here you can do the projects there but you need to give your speeches here about your experience of that project how you did it how you uh, how it executed it how it went what went well what did not go well what you need to improve on and what would be your forward, forward path so all those things you have to put in the speech and come and deliver your speech in the meeting so that the other members benefit as well okay so doing manual projects it's not that you have a hypothetical project and then come and give your speech you have to do your projects manually and you once you go through the path pathways curriculum whenever you open a certain project you will and undergo the training that is given there the before and after thing those have already completed at least one uh, project even the ice breaker and marked it complete would know what i am telling you for the new members let me tell you once you open a project you will get to know everything regarding that project how, what it is meant what it is for what if it, it will what core competencies it will help you gain okay the objective of the speech what it will help you gain how you can execute that how you can write the speech everything is in, given 
once you op- go to the base camp and open your curriculum and go to the speech or the project ice breaker project if you just click on you'll find all these things so my advice to all of you even the senior members who are not doing it yet to first open the level go to the project click on it study everything then go to the mentor what will happen is that when the member mentor tells you something it will be easier to understand because you've already got a gist of that project right so that's how it is doing manual projects meetings begin and end on time so do we start on time the time is 11 what time we start on and do we always start on the same time sometimes it is early sometimes it is late sometimes it is on uh, on time so based on your experience you should rate it and uh, the what uh, whatever your experiences once you rate it we will discuss it during the mot session which will be conducted next week so creative table topics and activities uh so the most creative things that we do in the club is the first is the theme that we pick up and our toastmasters of the day have always been innovative picking up new club uh themes and uh, they have always uh, what to say stuck to the theme asked us to dress up according to theme they do all such things right like we just had the holy milan party so we had a proper holy milan even if it was a meeting so are we doing all this and why is it necessary to do all this so you come to the meeting meeting on meeting you go on attending and it's the same routine thing would you enjoy it would you enjoy it over a period of time you will feel uh no it's okay if i do not attend this meeting right that should not happen in for a very for a active club that should not happen for a club that wants to keep its members engaged so whether it's the new members the senior members and sometimes we even imp- invite the ex members the past members to come and join us you know and feel the vibe because we are still connected to them in some way they are a part of us they are part of our readers so does our club do all this do we feel bonded do we do all the activities together do we plan on new things or do we just do the meeting you know regularly don't have any novelty in it so you should rank on that basis positive and helpful evaluations so whenever you are a speaker or a role player or you know uh, even if uh, you are a table topic speaker do you get helpful evaluations okay evaluations may not be on the evaluation sheet evaluation may not be a structured one from everyone except for your evaluator maybe but do you get feedback from all the members when you ask them do you get it okay and do you get it uh, you know even if you are not asked for so that is the kind of uh, evaluations of feedback that are going to help you in improving yourself okay but here you know, remember one thing if there are 30 in the meeting don't expect an evaluation or feedback from all of them okay because sometimes what happens if i am an evaluator i may miss a speaker speech also because i am busy writing my evaluation right so you may not get an evaluation from members who are already busy with some other activity but you can still act ask if, for feedback from all of them and you may get at least a single point because evaluations and feedback are the basis on which we improve in trust masters so i would advise the new members to keep asking for feedback whether you receive or not is secondary whether it's helpful or not is secondary you know 
uh, you need to search for the needle in the haystack. You have no choice. You'll find something, something worth keeping, something worth, you know, uh, um, a solution to your problem, something that you haven't observed yourself. But keep asking feedback, okay? Just because I forgot to give you feedback, that doesn't mean you need not come back to me again and ask for feedback, okay? So whenever someone, does everyone give you feedback and has it been helpful? Okay, that's the basis on which you will uh, rate on this parameter. So the next, any doubts on this? No one? Okay, let's continue to membership. Uh, Sakshi Pallavi, if you want to add on to something, just let me know, okay? Sure. Membership strength. So membership strength, does your club already um, have two me 20 members? Yes, we have more than 20. What's the count right now? 32, 30, 32 34. or 34? 32 or 34. 32 or 34. I think it's 34, Sakshi. 34. No, it's 29. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. After the... After March 31st, okay. So we have more than 20 members. Members are retained. So generally, you know, orators I've seen, members very reluctantly leave the club because they are either transferred or, you know, uh, they have joined a job. Many are, have joined a job after joining Toastmasters, but they are still Toastmasters. Like we have ABBA. And, you know, many uh, people who are working part-time and still they are members of the club. Okay. So, are the members retained? So, we do our fullest, but we can't force people and, you know, right? So, we leave it up to them. And there are members who've come back to the meeting, uh, to the club, just because... They have to leave for some reasons, but the RAR members would come back to the club. So we always try to retain people. So promotion of the club in the community or within its organization, I think word of mouth is enough for orators that we, for every time we conduct open houses. Uh, did Jotsuna come through open house? Did you attend the open house, Jotsuna, or did you just attend the... Uh, yeah, 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 she came in open house. Open house. Yes, okay. ma'am. Yes, so ma that is a membership building uh, uh, program that we have where we invite guests and try to convert them into members. Okay. So, and you came through some promotion, you through word of mouth or through WhatsApp or through the TV channel that we broadcast on or the SMS or the employee mail. So these are all the promotional activities and we've even put up a table and a few chairs and sat in the mini market to, you know, promote our club. We've done lots and we enjoy every little thing, believe me. We make it a party of sorts anywhere we gather. So the place does not matter. The club programs varied and exciting. That's how we... XCOM try to engage, you know, you know, club programs unless they are varied and exciting and all the members are engaged in it, we can't do the rest of the things that we talked about. Like we can't retain members, we can't promote the club unless we are good, right? And now we can't go and see that. So we have varied and exciting meetings. We are so proud of it that we promote it all over. We are so proud of it. The other day, I just loved what Sonia said, that wherever I go, I tell them I'm a Toastmaster. And then I tell them I'm Sonia Goyal. You know, it's, it's become a part of our being. You know, it's what we are. It's become a part of our personality. It's because the programs and meetings are exciting and we are try, trying to engage everyone. You know, I don't come to a few meetings. I have a message from Pallavi. I have a message from Sakshi. 
मैम क्या हो गया क्यों नहीं आ रहे हो आप नो आई हैव अदर रीजन इट्स नॉट दैट आ क्लब मीटिंग आर बोरिंग इट्स नॉट एनी थिंग एल्स एक्सेप्ट माई प्री ऑक्यूपेशन विद समथिंग एल्स ओके and whenever i have time i do attend i just love coming to our meetings and once you know i'm free from certain things i'll come i'll definitely attend and i love meeting new people like okay so the next one is to master sponsoring new members recognize so whenever the poster comes out the new member josna do you know who your sponsor is you you are on mute ma'am jyoti ma'am introduced me uh, yeah. to yeah the, she uh, is your sponsor yes yeah jyoti she is yeah. so that means oh. we are recognizing members who are sponsoring new members okay so regular membership programs so are we doing regular membership programs the open house that we did and i already talked about the promotional activities that we conduct in the township next one please any doubts in this anything anyone wants to add let's go to the next one after achievement recognition and this is the last one i believe the last theme are you not able to scroll okay so why is achievement recognition important not this one yeah so it helps us in monitoring our progress towards the goals submitting completed award applications and in recognizing member achievement it feels good to be recognized doesn't it you know you get a ribbon you like it don't you yeah so award application see every level you complete has to be sent to t uh, has to be approved by the bpa and sent to ta ti and then they sent you a digital digital certificate so so the applications whenever once you have completed a level you need to uh, the mail goes automatically to the vpa the president and the secretary and one of them approves it so does it happen immediately in our club i believe it does sometimes the vpa has to follow up please mark it complete so that i can approve it's the other way round in our club actually saying the vpa is ready to approve the member does not get the time to mark it complete so progress charts displayed and maintained so every time we achieve something uh, in the club in the district in you know uh, you complete dcp goals uh, there are certain jargon that you might not a uh, new members might not understand right now but whenever we have reached a milestone i think the members are be notified about it we have posters coming out the uh, dashboard uh, screenshots uh, are shared to the members if you are doing all that that means we are doing something right because members need to know about their contribution which has been has achieved those life milestones what is the club it is just the members you complete a level you contributed towards the club goals as well so it's a combined effort by everyone so everyone needs to know about it and progress charts are displayed and maintained for that purpose so member achievement formally recognized with some ceremony we do that we release posters and uh, the last meeting we had we had felicitations with the you know um, area director giving away the awards so we do recognize and club district international leaders recognized so those who were at the division conference we met them those who were at the township uh, you know many of them many of you went in met the district leaders so now you recognize many of them so uh, that was that i mean criteria has been met to a certain extent i would say club and member achievements publicized yes we are all over orators kahi bhi dekho and we are on posters of other club me you know uh, meeting champions also other club you know they their posters also you'll find orators right 
So that's how publicized orators are. DCP is used for planning and recognition. This is a, DCP is a tool that Toastmasters has to uh, assess the goals, you know, uh, monitor the mem progress of the club in terms of level achievements, in terms of members added, in terms of administrative reports supported, uh, sorry, administrative reports submitted, in terms of uh, what else is there, training attended. So there are certain mandatory things that a club needs to do as a whole. The members, the club is the members and the XCOM. So DCP is a tool which helps us monitor as on all those parameters mentioned in the distinguished club program that is DCP. So we'll not go much into it, but we follow that. Uh, so we're done with this. Any questions about it? Okay. I'm open to questions, anything. You just, uh, Asta, can you scroll it again so that members can have a look and... Yeah. Ma First impression. I, yeah. Ma'am, may I add one thing? Uh, as in what you already just last mentioned when you were talking of uh, recognition and... Um, about the dashboard reading, you know, member growth chart, your club growth chart. So uh, I haven't uh, showed it to our members in the last month. May I share the screen and share? I have it open. Uh, put it, put it in the group today. Put it in the group yes, today. Yes, I can. Okay, okay, okay. Before so, the forms are submitted. Yeah, so I would like to share that screen and every member new and old, please go through it, read what the actual DCP, Distinguished Club Program means. Okay, every club is vying for that only. That is the one of the biggest criteria for a club in Toastmasters International. Then we can have district awards, division awards, area awards and club awards. But those are all uh, from our budget. But what Toastmasters International recognizes you for is the DCP goals, the club goals. Okay. So I'll share that. Thanks, ma'am. Yeah. Over to you. Anything else you want to add? Any questions, please? Do we have time? Time on? One more thing. Uh, dear friends, ye, do all the criteria that are shown here, ma'am will also let you know that these are the same criteria that you, Mala, she already said that you have to give a rating of plus five or minus, Mala, one. Five or I'll one. share screen. Yeah. Uh, Asa, could you stop sharing the screen? I want to show something. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Do you see my screen? Do yes. You see? Yeah. So this is this, this is the form that Pallavi will be sharing with you. Okay. So you have to write your name and everything. And this will be the parameters. Okay. So you need to go here and read the parameter and then Mark. Okay, I think this is uh, not the form I should be. Just give me a second. So you will be given Okay. So you will have to mark from Five, four, three, two, one. The least ranking is one, the highest is five. If you are meeting the standards always, you mark it as five. And if we never do it, you mark it as one. Okay. So this is yeah. If you're doing it on a mobile, sometimes the five will not be seen. So please scroll to the 
left so that you can see the you know number 5 and if you have any doubts go to your mentors go to your vpa you can even talk to me or sakshi or any of the excom members clear your doubt on any parameter that you have and then fill up the form okay so that in that way it will take less of a time during our mot session that we'll have next week okay is and this clear and, yes ma'am and add ha ah, yes i request you to please scroll down so that members can see that there are six points okay yes, six, there six points. and there are six or seven or five points within that first one point yes and you have six, to rate on every six point. into six six yeah. into six yeah. yes, there are 36 six. yes six parameters no oh, sorry a uh, six themes and six parameters in it each so six into six 36 so do we have any questions anyone ankita uh, were you there or were you ankita gunjan so any questions no ma'am no no you might have questions when you are filling up the form so can please connect with your mentor or the vpa or any of the its comments this okay but that i hand over to to master sakshi the presiding officer over to you sakshi thank you so much madhuri ma'am let's have a round of applause for our trainer educator toast master madhuri vidari like she said that any time she misses a meeting and she gets a message or a call from someone in the club uh you know why ma'am because every time you come on screen your passion flows for this club the way you talk about orators the way you feel matlab you are one of the people that make me feel uh, orators <laughs> so happy and bound together thank you so much dr swasti madri ma'am it's really thank a... you for the opportunity thank you pallavi yes ma'am i'm and... always ready when i am in that thing whom to ask <laughs> never like to say no to pallavi but aajkal bahut no bolna pad raha hai mujhe i'm really okay, sorry for that <laughs> but ma'am we understand but you always save me out you always save me out i, I can say plus ma'am uh, we understand why you have uh, to say no because i would also like to reiterate for everyone here uh, that to madri ma'am is the registration chair for eloquence 2024 and yesterday she had a session at uh, jazil also wherein she brought in insights into what eloquence will be like so uh, i'm sure that all those who have registered are excited but all those who are still thinking make up your minds come on let's join let's go there enjoy the day enjoy those days together and like madri ma'am said <laughs> please don't think that you will get an alternate venue around because it is actually the only best place in silvasa for such a grand uh, event and having uh, to stay within the premises of the event is an added value and especially in the scorching heat of may so i request more and more members to join in expenses yes it's all self borne no sponsorship there but uh, i'm sure it will be worth it so why not at least try once so it is that and like madri ma'am said she attended once and now she wishes to join at eloquence every time thank you so much everyone uh, i also have a request for you that tomorrow is going to be our next meeting uh, for the regular tuesday meeting it will be in the evening hours 3:30 to 5:30 and um, in spite of the heat we are still not uh, keeping the time at 4 pm because most of the members feel like going back by 6 so even if it's closing like 5 7 minutes 10 minutes late even then you are free by 5:45 or 6 so on that note i wish everyone a best of luck for tomorrow's meeting for the roles and speeches for everyone to complete their uh, projects and uh, there's one more thing that for the diamond club we have completed a lot of things one thing very important for the moment of truth is due today was only an education session
Pallavi ma'am will be sharing the form and if every member, every single member has to fill it. And third step is that we discuss on that. So there will be a meeting next one, next week or something where we will discuss the points that we have given. There will be a moderator for the moment of truth. And uh, for the, uh, the most important criteria is that we have to have a quorum to conduct an MOT. So members' attendance is very important. We have to, a quorum means more than 51% of the club membership. So we need to be, if we are at 29, 30, we need to be at least a 16 to 18 members minimum, provided others have really pressing reasons not to attend. Otherwise, it will be a pleasure to have everyone on board. Uh, other than that, I think we are all set uh, for, uh, yes, I was coming to Diamond Club Award. Uh, we have most of the criterion the criterias covered. A few bottlenecks uh, still remain regarding membership. Uh, but I am hopeful that leadership ahead will understand that it's not something that we are going weak on. It's something that we are really working hard upon. So let's see. You know, fingers crossed. But I am really hopeful that we'll make it to the Diamond Club this year too. We will keep your legacy alive, Madhuri ma'am. <laughs> Hoping to. Ma'am, unmute yourself, please. I'm sure you will, and we'll all do it together. Yes, let's sir. reach out to guests. Let's reach out to, ex, uh, you know, or the past members. Let us get reinstated members. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. Uh, Toastmaster Pallavi, do you have something to say? Please add on. Thank yes. you. It's only regarding the time from Madhuri, our moderator of the main session of MOT. If she is available on 18th, then we will go for that date only because she will not be available on the next week. So Madhuri, can you confirm the date so that I can float? 18th will not be an issue for me, but uh, can you compile all the data before then? Yeah, I'll try. Shiloga. Yes, ma'am. It will not possible to fill the form all. Just no, no. Pallavi, ma'am, should float the form tonight, today itself. Ah, today, ah, yeah. Then uh, let's finish it off. By tomorrow, everyone can, we can, we can conduct the MOT. 18th. For everyone's knowledge, I hope it has anyone created Google Forms earlier. Can we stop the recording? Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh,